hello. I'm uh, Professor Foxy Dell, uh, professora or prof, you know, who has been writing to you, you know, um, the past couple of days and posting things for you on our on our classroom space. And uh, so what I want to do is talk to you a little bit before you begin the course this week um, and talk to you a little bit about what public writing is and what we're going to be doing this week and why we're going to be doing it. So uh, public writing is different from the kind of, of, of communication or the things that we think and say and write about in our private space like you see here. You know, this is my home. And uh, this is this is my personal private space, you know, and, um, you know, and, and, and this is important to me. And however, uh, you know, what I am here and the way that I communicate here, you know, and, and the creatures I live with here, like, for example, my dog that you hear right now, you know, my, my 90 pound standard poodle, um, who probably will be joined in a minute by what you just saw, my little five pound Yorkie, you know, they're best friends, um, but very different from each other. Um, but what happens here in this private space, you know, is very different from uh, the way that I communicate and the way that we communicate out in the world with each other. Just want to make sure that I'm, yeah, I wanted to make sure that I was taping this. Um, you know, when we're, when we're out with, with one another, when we're out in public, when we're out with our communities, you know, and it could be a team, it could be the class, it could be your dorm, you know, it could be you know, your neighborhood, and, and just keep on going out from that, you know, the, the, the larger areas, you know, and ultimately the world that we, that we are part of. You know, um, there, are some, there are some ways that we communicate with each other in those areas um, that, are, that are very important for us to talk about. You know, there's a certain, uh, we, we come from a democratic country, and we have a democratic culture. And so, you know, what we value as part of that democratic culture is that we're the people. And we're of the people, by the people, for the people. That's who we are, which includes all of us. So, so the questions that we talk about here and, and the issues that we, that we deal with, you know, and also what we create with one another is a place where all of our voices are valued, um, where all of us are included where all of us have equal time and all of us have equal space. And so the question then becomes, how do we do that? You know, how do we, how do we, we uh, communicate with each other and listen and, and you know, uh, and, but also persuade each other because we, we have some hard issues that we're dealing with as a culture. So how do we talk about those things so that we can really communicate and reach one another, you know, and not aggravate each other or anger each other? You know, because we do have issues like that. And um, so that's the, that, those are the kinds of things that we deal with in public writing. What I want to talk to you about is the first week. So I'm going to ask you to, I want to see how you write. I need to see how you write. I need to see how you communicate. So the first assignment is to watch the Beyonce video and then write about it and put your writing and please make it your best writing. There's a prompt for this, but I really need to see how you write. So please put it in the Dropbox. The second piece of writing this week, though, doesn't go in the Dropbox, okay? Um, the, the assignment is to go read something. And it could be anything. And, you know, it could be, I went and I evaded my kids' rooms. I've got, uh, my kids are 18 and 23, you know, so, so I thought maybe they're doing something like you might do. I, um, so, so there's, you know, read a, it can be a chapter in a book that you're reading. It can be a magazine that you're reading. I don't know if any of you read newspapers anymore, like I do, but it could be an article in a magazine, it could be something online, you know, it could be uh, um, a website, you know, it could be something that happens in a game. What I don't want is anything like that, because this tells you what to think, and what I'm interested in is what you think. That's the most important part of this course. You know, every assignment will ask you what you think about something and we'll ask you what your point of view is, you know? Um, and and that's, that's how, that's how we, we will communicate with each other honestly in here. And that's the most important part of public writing. So what I want you to do is, after you have read something, tell us what you read. And where you'll be doing that, let me just get this here, where you'll be doing that is out in the public spaces that uh, your generation is constructing right now, which is 
online and if if I can manage to get my password working here. I don't know if you can see this, but this is our Wikispace online. And I would like you to go in here and, and in the column that is opposite the picture over here, there's a place for you to go in and talk to us about what you've read. The prompt will tell you what to, what to say. Um, it's important that we acknowledge each other. You know, not just that we are giving information, but it's important for that that to be for our statements and what we have to say. It's important for that to be acknowledged. So what I'm going to ask you to do every time you post on a site like our Wikispaces or Facebook or our blog, that you take a couple days beyond that deadline and go in and respond to to. Uh, a few of the people that you see there. Later in the course, you'll be working in smaller groups. But with this one, I want to open this up to everyone. And as you probably have heard, you know, I'm going to teach both classes together. So I think it would be a whole lot more fun and interesting for us to see how 50 of us think, you know, and what 50 of us have to say. So it's very nice to meet you, and I will see you online.